Here's the latest video weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in San Diego. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist here at the National Weather Service office. This briefing is focusing on the heavy precipitation forecast for December 2nd and 3rd, 2014. This video is about five minutes long. All right, what's going on in the Pacific that'll bring us the heavy rain? Deep subtropical moisture, otherwise known as an atmospheric river or so-called pineapple express is setting up and taking aim at Southern California. The old storm that's been bringing rain to central and northern California is still sitting in the Pacific but a new surge of moisture is now taking shape and poised to bring heavy rain to Southern California as shown here. What's it look on the satellite image? This is the latest infrared satellite. You see the bright purple areas are very cold cloud tops indicative of a lot of ice in the atmosphere and also in some cases heavy rain. Deep down in the tropics we see the very bright colors, the greens and the blues. That's the heaviest rain that is developing as we speak and part of this will move northward into Southern California on Tuesday into Tuesday night. Here's the weather map showing the Pacific Storm System that will move east over the next 48 hours, Tuesday and Wednesday, mostly by to our north. But this is the key mechanism that will draw this tropical moisture northward and squeeze it out across Southern California. What's the rainfall expected? This is new precipitation expected through Wednesday. We see across California a lot of areas in the green where one to two inches of rainfall is expected. Then in the yellows and oranges, much heavier precipitation in the range of two to four inches. Let's zoom into Southwest California. And this shows widespread heavy rainfall of one to two inches. Most of this is going to occur on Tuesday into Tuesday night. Also look across our mountain and coastal slopes, widespread two to four inches with locally as much as six inches of rain. Yes, up to around six inches of rain. That includes San Bernardino County Southern Slopes, San Jacinto Mountain Southern Slopes, as well as Palomar Mountain in San Diego County. The biggest winner overall should be San Diego County. Here's a look at the National Weather Service hazard map located at weather.gov San Diego. You can see flash flood watches have been posted across most of Southwest California. This is it for anticipation of the heavy rain on Tuesday into Wednesday. The San Diego River is expected to crest just over eight feet and that'll occur early in the morning on Wednesday after the bulk of heavy rain moves through. This will impact the region with some road closures as well as very swift water moving along areas that have not seen much rain for nearly a year. Here's a look at the tide forecast for San Diego Bay. The biggest impact looks to be early Wednesday morning. That'll be when a lot of water is running off from our heavy rainfall and the tide reaches around six and a half feet early in the morning. Do note that the tides have been running a little bit higher than the actual predicted forecast tide. All right, here's a recap of what we expect. The rain beginning Tuesday morning from the south, rain becoming heavy at times, even in the morning, but especially midday and afternoon and into the evening hours on Tuesday. That'll make for a mess during the commute. Rain tapering to scattered showers later Tuesday evening, but not ending. Scattered showers continuing on Wednesday, most numerous in San Diego County, where the deepest moisture will linger. All right, the uh, rainfall totals, we're expecting almost all areas to receive one to two inches of rain, most of that in a 12-hour period. We'll see less than three-quarters of an inch in the desert regions, however. Two to three inches of rain in the inland valleys, that would be the I-15, I-5 quarters, and also the coastal foothills, such as areas like Laguna Hills and also in Carlsbad. Two to four inches for the coastal mountain slopes, but locally six inches. That's anywhere from the San Bernardino Mountains down to the San Jacinto Mountains and also the San Diego County Mountains. We're locally up to six inches of rain. And again, most of that's going to occur in about 12 to 18 hours. Rainfall rates quarter to three quarters of an inch, especially Tuesday afternoon and evening. 
This will be our main concern for urban flooding, small stream flooding, and even flash flooding because of these rainfall rates. We don't expect wind to be significant, but there will be some wind gusts of 20-30 miles per hour, especially along our coastal areas and also in our desert slopes and mountains. Snow levels will be a problem only because they're going to be very high for this storm and most of the precipitation is going to fall as rain, contributing to that excessive runoff into our creeks and then eventually our rivers. Thanks for tuning in. Check out weather.gov San Diego for the latest hazards and information. This has been Alex Tardy, the National Weather Service in San Diego.